this is one beautiful and rare car and here you can read description of the car and its history one of 12 produced Delage D8 120 Aerosport it was confiscated by the Germans it had originally been built for a French aviator wound up in Denmark passed through several owners finally made its way to Florida beautiful styled wheels notice the pontoon fenders the very large hood with ventilation notice the trim on the side it mirrors the glass of the door in the rear quarter it's as though uh, the car is uh, following uh, great streamlining principles as the as it whisks through the wind and you can see the the body lines uh, mutating and uh, changing as it is uh, going through the wind that great dip in the uh, in the bodywork is uh, truly amazing this is a dark green exterior and a beautiful leather interior and again a pontoon type arrangement on the fenders in the back huge fender skirts divided back window here and steering wheels on the right hand side which was uh, didn't realize it but uh, a lot of French cars were built with right hand drive until they finally standardized uh, left hand drive notice the gear changing mechanism there on that little post uh, that uh, is uh, similar to the arrangement on the cord where you pre-select the gear let out the clutch and it electrically shifts the gear so the kind of semi-automatic transmission instrument cluster is painted the color of the car now probably the most spectacular part of the car is the back view notice the dorsal fin here starts above the back window gets more pronounced as it comes down bullet type uh, taillights notice the catches for the uh, trunk lid on the side because the whole trunk lid is kind of like teardrop shaped this is one spectacular car notice that the bumpers are split to a left and a right side the exhaust deflector there no other car like it as far as I know it's just a uh, gorgeous this car reminds me of um, one that I remember seeing back in the 40s uh, in the movies they had a, a serial a movie serial every every week where as usually it was um, a, a setting uh, that involved uh, spies and uh, secret uh, caves and uh, radio operations and uh, hunting out the foreign agents and cars like this uh, very modern looking cars would uh, run around and it was uh, intriguing I don't think this car did but uh, it's just a uh, kind of a throwback for me to those early days of those uh, movie serials and in those serials almost always the hero was caught in a bind at the end of the serial and it was going to go off the road and crash but the following week you find out that 
No, he didn't go off the road, and he survived, and it would be continued to run for another few weeks. So, <laughs> it kept you coming back to the movies. Great car.